Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at something very impressive and should anger Lord Plan greatly. This is the chain elevator, which is this lovely thing sitting right behind me. So this is a very large elevator that goes up four separate floors and it's all done via this chain system that features blaster edge blocks on steel blocks on hinges that gets rotated by this part at the top. We will take a better look at this when I activate it and we actually play around with it. Anyway, moving away from that and pressing F10, finding the chain elevator in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 4,879 small blocks using the Heavy Industry DLC pack. We can see a nice lot of information about it on the Steam Workshop page, where it states the four floor elevators at 2 meters per second. We've got two buttons to make it go up and down and to change directions. We've got connectors and landing gears to make it nice and stable, as well as some more useful information at the bottom. So giving this thing a thumbs up, what we're going to do is have a very quick look around the outside, then we're going to activate it to go all the way up to the top, and then get a better look at it as it's actually moving up and down and how the chain is functioning. So let's start all the way at the bottom, this is what we get. So we've got four magnetic plates, which is how we're going to clamp this thing down on the ground, and the creator has made a button in order to stabilize the vehicle by undoing the magnetic plates, make sure it's nice and level so it doesn't clang out and perhaps explode. There is a battery to power this thing, and then into the middle, this is one of the wheels that will spin around and make the chain function. So I'll also put my light on and get a bit closer, we also a large wheel in the middle, but around the outside we can see part of our chain and part of the wheel. So I'll just to come over to some steel blocks and then do this. This is our chain, which is going to be coming across onto our wheel, and the other blaster edge box is going to be what it's going to connect into to drag it all the way around. The wheel has a very similar setup of blaster edge blocks, steel blocks and hinges. And that's what it looks like from this side. If you want to look at it on this section, this is what's going to rotate it all the way around. So it's a standard rotor onto a cylindrical column that goes across onto a steel block. Now as for the support beams themselves, got the beams that go all the way up, as well as some blaster edge blocks on the corner, some structural integrity. If we were to move around onto the side, we can come up to this section where we can see we've got some connectors, which is how our platform is going to connect together and hold itself steady while we're on that floor. When we activate the button on the inside to actually move this up and down, that's going to disconnect first. Then we're going to be moved up to the next floor where it will connect to the next connector and lock itself in place. Away from that, looking at this section, this is the chain in all of its glory. So like I said, it's just blast edge blocks onto steel blocks on the hinges and it will simply go all the way up to the top, or eventually come up to this section, which is going to be to make the chain nice and taut. So this part is simply some pistons that come across onto some wheels. The wheels will spin around as the chain move up. And I'll just go all the way up to the very top where we'll see that other wheel that we saw at the start of the video. And all the way up to this section, we do have some space balls. We just got five of them in a row. Then going all the way up to the top there, there's the wheel. And then just looking down, that is all we get. So we see our connectors are lining up the side for each floor. And there we go with the outside. But if we were to come down and look at the elevator itself, the actual little part that we're going to walk into, this is all we get. So we've got some lights at the top. We have a doorway just in case we need to have an emergency escape and do some maintenance work on the inside. So say this whole thing was enclosed in your base. That's going to be very handy to have. Yes, we've got some lights in here just to light up the darkness. Then on the side, these are the buttons to move it as well as to change its directions. The top one is to activate it to simply move it in its current direction. The bottom one will take the rotor with a green V on it, which will dictate the direction it's going to move. And of course, we've got a little control panel there just in case you need it. And yes, that's a very quick look around the outside. But without further ado, I think it's time to see it in action. So moving my character into the elevator, we are pointing in the correct direction. We are on the bottom floor. Do I need to hit this one? We're going to disconnect our connector and we're going to move all the way up. We'll simply sit in it for the moment so you can see what's going on. There's going to be quite a lot of sparks, but it is safe because I move this up and down several times without it breaking. We simply clamp onto the next floor and we're good to just go out and do whatever. But now what we'll do is just activate it, then bring the free camera up and we can see what's going on with our wheels at the bottom here. Then we'll go take a look at the middle section that's holding it taut. So pressing the button and coming back into the free camera, that's going to spin around. And that's how it connects and intertwines with that wheel to spin it all the way around and make the elevator move. If we have to look at it down like so, that's what's going on with it. Just looking at the side, that is very scary to look at. Now I'll do that one more time and I'll move the camera all the way up to this section. But we can see how this is working. So once again, pressing the button and then coming across over to here. 
That's now going to move all the way around. The wheel spins around. It's going to clang quite a lot. But like I said, it's perfectly safe. Crater has done a great job at making sure it doesn't randomly explode. And there we go. And of course, one final thing will be to look at this top section. So back into my character, I can now rotate that all the way down because we need to move down the floor because we're at the top. Pressing that button, back into third person view, that is what we get looking at it from this angle. You can see very clearly how that's going in between each of those blaster edge and steel blocks and just dragging itself all the way around to make this thing move down. And there we go. For one final little look, we will go down one more floor. There we go. And we'll get a better look from a distance. And that's simply how it's working. It's still very scary to look at because I'm expecting it just to blow up at any point, especially with all the sparks coming off the actual elevator itself. But there we go. That is a very fancy elevator. If you want to implement it into your world, implement it into your base, or even just a gigantic ship, if you wanted to. And for one final thing, Beans, I've pretty much covered everything with his elevator. We'll send it down and have a look at it from different angles. So just going to slow down the camera a little bit. And that's simply how it moves all the way down. Until it gets to the next floor, the landing legs will connect in, the connector will connect up, and we're now locked in place and ready to get out. So it's a very, very safe system. We'll send it down once again. And here we go, all the way down. And we see it sort of wobbling around, down to the next floor. And it's going to keep going. Apparently it's missed that floor, not too sure what happened there. But we're going all the way to the bottom, which will be then a great way to end this. And there we go. We're now just clamped in place. I can now get out and wander away. And just standing at the bottom and looking up, that's how tall it is compared to my character. Just moving away like so. There we go. It's a very, very tall structure. But yes, like I said, that's pretty much it for what the chain elevator has to offer. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. I highly recommend you do, even if it's only just to check out how the chain has been set up and how it's all functioning. You could get a lot of use out of it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.